If you think that's all the hackery that's going on here, you're sadly mistaken. Peter, throw me the phone. Take a look at that. All right, this went into there. Well, that's just part two of the hackery. Here comes part three, but you may have saw it when he threw me the phone. I'm sorry. You're going to have to watch the rest of the video to see all the rest of the hackery that was going on with this system. But I promise you, you're going to love it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Before I get started with today's episode, I'd like to thank the overwhelming support from the community. Uh, yesterday, I took the state of Florida business and finance law uh, contractor exam, and let's just say that I passed. I didn't pass with flying colors, but I got an 80. 80.83 to be exact. I posted a video about it on the Uncensored channel. Uh, link down in the description box down below, or right up there or there. Thank you again, overwhelming support. Next up, I have two more exams left in the state of Florida. Uh, one is the plumbing exam, so I can become a licensed master plumber for the entire state of Florida. And the air conditioning B exam. Air conditioning B is up to 25 tons, and uh, I don't go over that, so I'm good with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, May 11th, 2023. We're heading to our job of the day where we are taking out a carrier of oversized four ton R22 central air conditioning system. And we're installing another carrier. This one's a little slightly smaller, three and a half ton, but we're gonna get it done. We're going to the incorporated village of Flower Hill. Flower Hill is part of the uh, it's part of Manhasset on the North Shore of Long Island. Not considered the gold the Gold Coast, but nonetheless, it's up there, the North Shore, not too far from the office. Okay, you know, about a forty minute drive with just mild traffic. Um, but yeah, new customer, and um, we may have an answer for Peter's uh, date question here. So stick around and make sure you smash that thumbs up button. I hear Peter's going to tell us an answer today, whether or not he's going to go out with a certain someone. And one other thing before we get started, on yesterday's video, which was the Bosch IDS 2.0 system that we installed, where I showed the community, uh, the pipe wiper system, wet rag, uh, the Diversitec high-rise pad for the uh, outdoor heat pump condenser. Uh, the answer to that giveaway was $45. Yep, $45 was the total uh, bill at Gotta Get a Bagel, bagel store in Woodmere on Broadway. Uh, we had three bagels with tuna and three drinks, 45 bucks. Uh, one person got the got it right away and uh, I sent them out a free hat. I was waiting for him to email me. Congratulations to the winner. Thank you. Daniel, I am completely out of breath. Are you out of breath? No, you're fine. You're, you're a, he's a young, energetic, 20-year-old, single. Maybe we'll get you... 21 maybe we'll get maybe inside this home there's latinas chicas for you possibly. possibly but i know you like white girls though it's okay daniel daniel and i or peter daniel was directing peter and i took from that truck right there and we carried this carrier that's right baby infinity to the we got right here and then my watch asked me do i want to continue backtracking it's crazy that it, knows. it knows big brother knows everything it's gonna go over there. I'm ain't built for this. I'm too old for this. All right, 813, there's the unit. It's still the 11th, 10th? What's today's date, 10th or 11th? 11th. The 11th, still the 11th of May, 2023. Uh, the homeowner got a little paranoid because yesterday I sent Peter and Daniel here to remove the old condenser. Um, that way we'd have a little more extra time today because maybe I'm going to treat them to some lunch. You know, uh, uh, Cipriani's and Luminati's down the block, you know, off the, uh, the Miracle Mile. Cipriati or Luminati. Maybe we'll pick one of those two for lunch today. What do you think? I've never heard of those. Okay. Well, hope if we get done, if we get done by one o'clock, I'm treating you guys to lunch. Okay. All right. 
there's Peter. Here's my access. And look at this OSHA pl approved plywood. Not really. I already disconnected the return plenum. And not exaggerating, we had a screw there, right? A screw here. That's two, three. There was no screw there, right? And there was absolutely nothing on this side. See, the tape's all still there, right? And there's no screw marks there either. Look, <laughs> I kid you not. You had this thing held together with duct tape. In this case, silver tape, right? You had one, two, and if you, let's say, let's say we count, there's nothing there either. Let's say we count these, right? Those two, but there wasn't, it was only one, and it was this one. You could tell this one's still like all, like hasn't been touched in a long time, that one, right? So you had one, two, three. Now, in case you think I'm BSing you, right? Let's go over to the air handler, and I'll show you the air handler. Return side, right? Let's take a look. One, two, three. That's it. That's just a mark. There's no screw there. Nothing. One, sorry. One, that's factory. See that? One, two, three. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on this side. Three screws and duct tape were holding on this return to this carrier air handler. A total of three. If that's not Hack City, I don't know what is. So, if you think that's all the hackery that's going on here, you're sadly mistaken. Peter, throw me the phone. Take a look at that. All right? This went into there. And it was just shoved in there like that. I kid you not. I kid you not. That's how it was. So, more hackeries here. We're going to remove the supply plenum. It's insulated. <laughs> All right. And uh, how many screws do you think are on this side? <laughs> right. If there were three holding, Peter, if there were three screws holding on the return plenum, how many screws do you think are holding on the supply plenum? Four. Four? Let's see. We have one. We have two. All right. Let's see the other side. Wow, that is. Wow. Let's see if I get in there. One, two, three. All right. And one, two, three. Oh, four. Hold on. You were right. Four screws is the winner. Wow, Peter, today's your lucky day. I tell you, I'll tell you the same thing I just told Daniel. If we get done by one o'clock, I am buying lunch at either Cipriani or Luminati. Where's that? Right around the corner from here, Miracle Mile. Sounds nice. It does sound nice. All right, well, that's just part two of the hackery. Here comes part three, but you may have saw it when he threw me the phone. That would be part three. <coughs> Here's our line voltage. Is that going to a switch anywhere, Peter? <coughs> <coughs> oh, follow that armor sheathed cable that I like to call BX. Uh, it goes under the floor. It goes under the floor. Okay. Peter, yep. ask the homeowner, right, the daughter, okay. uh, to bring show you the electric panel again. Call me from down there, mm -hmm. and we will uh, try to isolate which one this is. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I can't make this stuff off even if I tried. So, like I say, and I continue to say to this day, hacks will continue to bring us stacks. Be a professional, do the right thing, strengthen, develop and strengthen your relationships with your clients, and you know what? The sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. Let's get the show on the road. It is 8.30. We need to get done by 1 o'clock, and maybe let's try to do it by 12. Maybe I have the lunch special. Peter, do you know that a good way to tell the age of an air handler is by looking at how many couplings are in the system, right? You got one, two, maybe that's part of the trap, two, three, you have three couplings, four, <laughs> a lot of 
And if they use the duct tape, I mean the, the, the electric tape, mm -hmm. then you know, add five per. So five, 10, 15, and maybe 17, 16. <laughs> and that's a reducing uh, bushing right there. Three quarter by half inch. Crazy. Peter, we have a dilemma. The air handler, not gonna fit up here. It's not fitting up there in one piece. I was contemplating for a remote hot second cutting this bitch in half. <laughs> I was really contemplating. How, carrier, how do you make an air handler that's not in halves? All your air handlers are in halves. That's why I buy carrier. When I have tight spaces, it comes in half. Stupid carrier, stupid. Hey, what up, girl? How you doing? I don't want to come on too strong or nothing like that, but uh, I've been thinking about you. And I've been wondering. I've been wondering where you lay up. How hot you think it is up here? Where you at? Uh, can't be that hot. You're still wearing your long sleeve shirt. Oh, it's got to be like 90 almost. So it is, uh, folks, it's 12.17. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, I ordered lunch. <laughs> I asked Peter if he would like deli. He goes, I'm okay. I asked him if he wants uh, a burger. He goes, I was okay. I was like, I'm going to order from Smash Burger. So I, anyway, he just wanted a water. So, Peter. I know you wanted a water. Unfortunately, they didn't have any water. Mm -hmm. So I ordered you a Coke instead. Is that okay? Yes, okay? And I know that you like a certain some kind of sandwich. I got you a smash burger with just bacon on it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Just bacon. Yeah. There's no lettuce. There's no tomato. There's no ketchup. There's no mayo. There's no smash sauce. The signature smash sauce. Smash sauce is not on it either. It's coming in about five minutes. Sweet. Okay. So I don't have any time lapse of us putting this. I was in a curse. Put this this thing back together, but it's together. It's running. There's our return. There's our supply. Um, Hackery at its finest was removed. Hackery Incorporated is no longer in this house. We still got to get a takeoff for there. Peter used some mastic tape to tape that up. We put about eight or 10 screws or, or 18 screws, a lot of screws <laughs> on there. We used a piece of band line to hold up the other side of the plenum. There's our line set. Uh, we got about 60 feet of line set. Uh, here's the end of it. We're gonna put our filter dryer inside. And over there, we use a zoom lock uh, coupling to uh, get all the way over there to the outside. And we have about 60 feet of pipe. I'm gonna show you outside in a minute. All right, let's go to the thermostat. Which is right here. It says air cund. Air cund. The White Rogers 1F8361, is it? No. Am I that good with it? 1F8361. No, 261. See that? 1F8261. <coughs> so red, RC is red, is R. Green is that, and Y is that. Can you think you can handle wiring that? Yeah, so can you just briefly go over that again? So you have three wires leaving the thermostat. Mm -hmm. R, white, and G. Mm -hmm. So red, white, and green. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the red wire and put that to the red on the air handler. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the Y wire and connect that to the gr yellow wire going outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. The green goes to the green for fan. No common here, but it's common up there. I'll show you. All right. Peter is now working on the wiring. We had lunch. It was good. So our blue wire, sorry, our brown wire is our thermostat. And we're using red, white, and green. Okay. And our outdoor condenser, since it's a carrier infinity condenser, we have blue, red, and yellow. The blue is our common, the red is our 24 volts, and the yellow is our common. Okay. So he stripped off all those wires there. Okay. And take the condensate float switch, do this, do this Split those in half and strip the wires. You ready, Peter? I'm ready. Okay, let's flip that switch off. 
Now, we have, which one is our 24 volt control wire coming from the air handler? Coming from the air handler? Yep. That is our red. Okay, so let's see, find the red wire. Right here. Coming from the air handler. Right here. No, coming from the air handler. Not a trick question. From the air handler. From the oh, air okay. handler. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so you take that red wire, uh -huh. disconnect the Wago from it. Mm -hmm. That's our glorified Wago 221, two conductor wire. Now, the red wire, right, that's our 24 volts, right? We need that where? We need that to condenser, because it's special. Okay, so that's our white. Right, the right wire. So let's get a three. Three? Yeah, we have a three one there. We have five. Let's take a five then. Okay. So we're gonna take the red going to condenser, right? We have red coming from thermostat and red from air handler. And that's because we were, we're connecting red to the condenser because we have this special board in there that requires 24 volts. It takes practice, but eventually you'll get it. Okay, that goes there as well. So now our reds are done, mm -hmm. right? Now what, what's, what's remaining? We have a blue. Blue, yellow, white, red. Okay, blue, so yellow. now let's do our green, right? Our green went to green is fan from thermostat, which goes to the gray wire, right? So strip the green wire, put that on the gray, the gray Wago. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what's left? We have... Blue, yellow, white. Okay, we have two yellows. Right? So yellow from thermostat, yellow to condenser. Our yellow from the thermostat is the white wire, right? Because they're only using three wire. So cut that. There you go. So the yellow and the white. Yellow from condenser and white from thermostat. The white thermostat is our technically our Y circuit yellow. Okay. Now we have a blue left, to right? Brown. To the brown. The brown is our common or C from the air handler, and it's going to blue. Okay. There's one wire that's sticking out, that's that white wire. I would just put a wire nut on there mm -hmm. and call it a day. Now, we're not done yet though. We have that, right? We're gonna break yellow or we'll break the cooling circuit, right? So you're gonna take one. Oh, yeah. Okay, and the other one to the yellow. So now, if that float switch ever activates, right, it will open the circuit and kill power to the condenser. So you'll have no cooling. The fan will still work, Interesting. right? Mm -hmm. But there'll be no cooling. All right, so if we did all that correct, we should be able to system off. Fan on. Peter! Peter! Turn the switch on. Where's the blower? Is the blower on? Is the blower on? Now it's on. There it is. A blower is on. All right, so we are outside, and yes, I know the gas piping for the generator is, is almost against it, but not really, but this is where it is, and it is what it is. Okay, my line voltage, sorry, my low voltage comes in here to R, C, and Y. I remove the infinity communicating wire, which plugged into A, B, C, D right there, because it's not being used, and just want it out of the way, but I kept it in the compartment here for future use. So we're, we got power there, just 24 volts. Daniel has the True Blue evacuation kit hooked up with the field piece vacuum pump, the VP67. This is their dual stage six CFM vacuum pump. Ready to go. He has his Home Depot special. Amazon special. Amazon special. Extension cord on a reel. And let's see. It is. It is one 
155. No, 157. 157. How long it's gonna take? We got a brand new line set. We have 60 feet, right, Daniel? 60 feet? Yeah. 62 feet? Yeah, 60 feet. 60 feet. We have 60 feet of 7 eighths and 3 eighths line set. Up there, I used a 77 uh, millimeter uh, white covers instead of the 100 like we normally use. I had it in the shop, but I wanted to get rid of it. So there's the the, uh, the 77, and I stopped right there because that's where I stopped it. I'm sorry side of the house it is what it is and we're all gonna use a some zip ties and secure the low voltage wiring take a look at our micron gauge I'll zoom in ladies and gentlemen you're at 21 20 1900 18 17 16 15 now Daniel's closing the gas ballast you notice it got much quieter the purpose of doing that keeping the gas ballast open for the majority of the, the, the higher end of the microns, the, the, I guess the beginning of the, the, the uh, vacuum process, is you don't need all of that atmosphere that's inside the line set. You don't need to be going through the, the vacuum pump oil. So it preserves the vacuum pump oil. And you're gonna see that we're now at 770, 750, 710, under 700. And it's just minutes later. It is still, it is 158. Hasn't even been a minute. And we're already at 600, no, we're at 580 microns. 565, 550 microns. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not using these kind of tools and this is what you do for a living, well, let me say something, let me just smack, let me take my hand and just smack it across your face for being retarded. Come on. Use the technology that's available to us to make the jobs that much more professional and to get the job done and make more money. All right, 159. Let's do a decay test. Already? Already, why not? All right, so we're at 210 microns. Let's close those straight core valves. All right, he's gonna close that one. I'm gonna hit the start decay test. And we jumped up for a second, now we jump back down. And we're still dropping, we may go back up. But keep in mind, this is a brand new line set. A brand new line set. And we are at 299.3 microns, and now we're climbing up a little bit. We're gonna see where this stops, and if it decay passes, we're 19 seconds into it, and there it is, 20 seconds into it. The decay has passed, screenshot that. Screenshot that, yeah, the decay has passed. Awesome. And in case you don't know, what all this stuff is, educate yourself. But I'll give you a quick layman's terms. Uh, we're using the by Eco Tools, the Blue Vac Plus Pro micron gauge with the professional uh, vacuum hoses. Now, what this decay does, it basically runs a mathematical formula through the app and it measures the rise of the microns once you start the decay test. And it realizes that if there's a leak, it's not gonna pass the decay test. If there is a leak, um, you're gonna have a fail. So we have a brand new system here. We did a nitrogen test. We have dry lines. We have no moisture in the system. We purge with nitrogen. The decay has passed. I can say with 100% confidence that we are good with this installation. Not only is the, the evaporator coil good, but all the line set and the connections at the condenser are epic. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. But if you think we stop there, no. We're pulling a deeper vacuum. We don't mess around at Pipe Doctor. We're based in Valley Stream, New York, which is in the southwestern corner of Nassau County. If you need prompt, professional, reliable central air conditioning services, reach out to me, 516-348-6300. So we're at 117 microns, 116 and dropping. One thing to keep in mind, remember when we closed those valves, right? The, uh, the evacuation, right, can also, even with them open, it can stall. You know, it, you can actually see it rise sometimes where, let's say you're like 750 microns and all of a sudden it goes up. Keep in mind that as, you know, the moisture in there, you know, boils off, because that's what's happening. Mo right, Daniel? Moisture's boiling off in a vacuum. Right, as that happens, what are you gonna say? Unless it gets too low too quick, then it freezes. Yes, well that can happen as well. Uh, that's why it's not good to have, you know, like, like a two, an oversized vacuum pump um, for, you know, for the system you're working on. So like we're working on a three and a half ton system that has, you know, seven eighths line set. 
I have, I'm confident. Listen, we could. Would I suggest do, using this on a regular for a mini split system? No, absolutely not. If a brand new install, eh, listen. If you're careful and quick with the with, with the exposure of the line sets into the into the the moisture into the line sets, yeah, I think you'll be fine. But remember that you know if there's any moisture in the systems while you're vacuuming, you know that those numbers, the micron, could could stall, it could rise, uh, and especially during the decay test, you know, as that refrigerant. Uh, as the moisture boils off, you know, those outgasses, trap gases are released from O-rings, blah, 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 all that, etc. cetera. Um, but this whole setup you can get from True Tech Tools, right? TrueTechTools.com. And if you're going to buy anything from there, I strongly suggest you use coupon code KNOWITALL, K-N-O-W-I-T-A-L-L. He's another YouTuber, uh, happens to be a true friend. And if you use his uh, promo code, you'll get 7% off and he also gets a kickback. Not bad, right? We're sharing the love. Sharing is caring. All right, so we are at 208, and we are at 98.2 microns, 97.9. We're going to close those valves, and then we're going to uh, dump the charge. That's closed. That's closed. Daniel has the service wrench. Yellow jacket. Wait, so we're doing the high side first. Crack that open. We're going to remove our, our tools. Um, but once he cracked that open, shortly thereafter, he moved the micron gauge. You don't want to expose that to all that, uh, all that good stuff, all that gushy stuff. Ask your sister what I'm talking about. She'll tell you. So there we go. I'm going to crack those open, and then we're going to charge the system. Daniel, uh, we, we, we're charging the system based on the, develop, the length of the piping. We have 60 feet of total line set. That's here. And across to the air, uh, the air handler. And Daniel, with 60 feet of line set, how much do we need to add? 1.68 pounds. 1.68 pounds. Excellent. We have the the um, Ellie Tech wireless uh, uh, refrigeration scale going on right there. There used to be a uh, well. There's still a sponsor of the channel, Ellie Tech. Uh, and Daniel got the Field Piece S Man. So we're going to charge this bad boy up with 1.68, right? 1.68 pounds of R22. You know, it's R22 now is in that like, like beige, grayish can. You said R22. Uh, R, sorry, uh, R410A. I misspoke. R410A is in a beige can anymore. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of stupid. It should have kept it pink. Remember, it's always pink on the inside, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we just turned on power at the circuit breaker panel. You know, it's quiet. Very, very quiet. Very nice. Carrier. Infinity. Communicating. We're not using this communicating, but this is what they had. This is what they gave us. And then I'll tell Mikey Pipes no when I got to order something. They're not going to tell me no, we don't have it in stock. Just keeping it real. They may be sodomizing me with this uh, temporary inflation tax that they're adding on. That's what they're doing on the invoice. And carrier CE Northeast. There's a line item. It's called temporary inflation charge. And it's a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, damn, come on, bro. Hook me up. All right, so take a look at our pressures. We have Daniel's brand new field piece wireless clamp on um, temperature sensors. We have a high side of around 150. Sorry, low side of 150, high side of 270. And subcooling at 0.9 and rising. So that should be around 10. That's a general rule of thumb, and we'll see what that ends up at. But we added 0.67 pounds of R410A. Maybe I'm getting like losing my mind in my old age. 1.67 pounds of R410A. All right, it's not one o'clock like I thought it would be. It's 3.42. We're done. Customer's happy. We'll be back next Wednesday to put in a Fujitsu um, 15,000 BTU ductless mini split system in the rear den and um, put on those the takeoffs for the, those two ducts that were rigged together. Thank you so much for watching. If you uh, like this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. There's no course or obligation. Just hit that subscribe button down below. And that little notification bell, that little bell looking icon, hit that too. And you'll get post notifications when I drop a video on this channel, which is usually on a daily basis, seven days a week. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate the feedback and support from the community. You guys are the best. Thank you. Till next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.